good evening it's Thursday July 29th and this is the Raleigh County side of New River and Summers County is on the other side New River starts in North Carolina and it later becomes Kanoa River further downstream after being joined by Gali River. The river is about a quarter mile wide at this point. And this is my second video from Sandstone Falls. And this briefly tells a little bit about the place. And the title for this video, Quench My Thirst. And many of you probably remember the old song, Fill My Cup, Lord, I Lift It Up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsting of my soul. Bread of heaven. Feed me till I want no more. Fill my cup, fill it up, and make me whole. That's a very nice song. And for some scripture starting off in Matthew 5 verse 6. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. For they shall be filled. Looking at Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will feel no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So as verse 5 points out, my cup runneth over, which ties in with the fill my cup lyrics of the song I mentioned a moment ago. And now moving on to Romans 5. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God and not only so but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. And hope 
Make us not ashamed. Because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength, in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. And as we turn to Romans chapter 8, looking at verse 18, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to to his purpose. And this is the other end of that island loop trail. It goes about a half a mile around, mostly following the shoreline facing the water as Sandstone Falls area is occupying several small islands. And now turning to Romans 15, verse 13. Now the God of hope fill you with joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. And here's one of the channels of New River. And continuing on, taking a look at Psalm 42, verses 1 and 2. As the heart panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. My soul thirsteth for God. For the living God when shall I come and appear before God? And also want to mention that Psalm 42 verse 1, heart, is referring to deer. As it mentioned, the deer relying on the water bricks. Picking up in John 4, starting at verse 13, Jesus answered, referring to the woman at the well, and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life.
The woman saith unto him, Sir, give me this water, that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw. In John chapter 6, starting at verse 27, Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him hath God the Father sealed. Then said they unto him, What shall we do? That we might work the works of God. Jesus answered and saith unto them, This is the work of God, that ye believe on him whom he hath sent. They said therefore unto him, What sign showest thou them that we may see and believe thee? What dost thou work? Our fathers did eat manna in the desert, as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. Then they said unto him, Lord, evermore, give us this bread. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. In Isaiah 44, Rosh for I will pour water upon him that is thirsty, and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed, and my blessing upon thy offspring, and they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows, by the water courses. In Psalm 103, verses 1 and 2, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Psalm 107, verse 9. For he satisfieth the longing soul, and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. And I hope you've enjoyed this video, quench my thirst.